It always boggles my mind that professional musicians would ever lip sync their performances. That's like going to the doctor's office asking for a medical exam and he just checks WebMD. Both end with people saying, well I could have done that. Now it's important to know before we get started that unfortunately due to YouTube's copyright claims, we can't actually play the lip syncing videos for you. However, I will make sure that all of the links to the videos are down in the description below for you to check out and well, see for yourself. Welcome to Inform Overload, the show where we take the top trending topics on the internet and then make them more entertaining. I'm your host Johnny Rogers aka The Bacon Overlord and to never miss another exciting video click that subscribe button and ring the bell to join our notification squad. Before we get started though leave us a comment down below with who your favorite musician is and while you ponder that let's jump right into the top 10 musicians caught lip syncing during live performances. In at number 10 Britney Spears. Britney Spears is no stranger to just miming along the words to her songs. In fact she's done it so many times that she's even been dubbed the lip sync queen. The video in the description that I'm speaking about was was her 2016 VMA performance featuring G-Eazy. Many of her hardcore fans stood by Britney Spears when the incident took place. They would say things like, yeah, so what? That's what she does. She's a performer. She's not a singer. If you want a singer, go see Mariah Carey. I'm sure they move their hands around like that. But that's like saying McDonald's is bad because it made you fat. No, you decided to supersize your fries and ignore the healthy picks menu. Much like McDonald's though, Britney Spears' music is also bad for your health. Some might even say it's toxic. In at number 9, Millie Vanilli. For those of you who are too young to remember, Millie Vanilli was a German R&B duo from Munich that took over the charts with their hit song Girl You Know It's True. However, one live performance in Bristol, Connecticut is what brought their whole career to an end. The band had the song on a pre-recorded track, but midway through the track got stuck. Imagine getting exposed like that in front of 80,000 people. This incident though unraveled a whole bunch of other lies. The band eventually had to tell the public that they've never sung any of their songs. Rob, who was one one half of the duo was so distraught with what happened that he ultimately quit the group shortly after. In at number 8, 50 Cent. 50 Cent is certainly a rap superstar and business mogul, but that does not make him immune from getting caught lip syncing along to his songs. At the 2007 BET Awards, he was set to perform the song Amusement Park, but when his DJ played the wrong version, 50 lost his place and decided to walk through the crowd until he could jump back in. Although he could have caved under the pressure, there were far too many rappers in the audience that he didn't want to look weak in front of. So instead, he took it as a moment to posturize, which Actually, I found out isn't even a real word, but NBA fans will know what I'm talking about. He essentially dunked on his haters even when he slipped up. In at number 7, Selena Gomez. This is perhaps every musician's worst nightmare and it happened to Selena Gomez. At the 2013 Jingle Ball in Los Angeles, Selena had some pretty serious sound issues happening while she was performing. The irony in this situation was that she was singing the line, I got no regrets, and then boom, lip syncing exposed. Like immediately after, while she's pausing, with the mic lowered from her face, the vocal track sings on and shocks the 20,000 fans in attendance. If that wasn't bad enough, she went on to alienate her fans even more by dropping a very audible F-bomb. The big WTF came after she ripped out her earpiece and tried to continue on, but when she couldn't get back into the song, her mic picked up that last moment of anger. In at number 6, Justin Bieber. Much like the Selena video, the song perfectly syncs up with what is happening in the video. As Bieber is approaching the front row, he drops the mic into the audience right when you hear the part in the song where he says, never let you go. Like it's just too perfect, it feels like life is a movie right now. If his mic was truly on, you would have definitely heard a massive thud when that mic hit the floor. And this isn't the only time that the Biebs has done this either. You can literally find entire YouTube compilations of him consistently lip syncing during his tour performances. One of which was extremely awkward. He comes out to the song and then immediately throws up all over the stage. A video that I hope we can play. Basically, um, in Canada we like to we like to have spaghetti and milk. I don't know if it was such a good idea before my show. Also, just so you know, we don't all drink milk with spaghetti here. I, I don't know what weird stuff they're teaching them in Stratford, but as for the rest of Canada, yeah, that's not a thing, bro. In at number five, Shakira. At the FIFA World Cup in South Africa, Shakira was performing in a massive outdoor concert venue. We're guessing she was hoping that with so many people in attendance, there was gonna be no way that any would notice that she was just mouthing the lyrics to She Wolf over a pre recorded track. So, 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 so cringe to watch as well. You gotta check out that link down below. I, again, I wish I could just show it to you guys. I remember the days when musicians used to actually sing at their concerts. Although if you're going to see Shakira in concert, it's probably not for her vocal skills. In at number four, Lady Gaga. I never lip sync, I never have lip sync, and I never will. 
Lady Gaga, telling her fans that she's never lip synced and that she never will. We need more honesty like this in the music industry and she's just a beacon of hope that one day we'll get there. Well, when you watch the video of her some 20 days after she said that she would never lip sync, you can clearly see that she is indeed lip syncing during her live shows. The main voice track keeps going as Gaga trips over her clothes and falls so hard on the ground, yet for whatever reason, we hear none of that impact. Just clean vocals coming through and Gaga saying, quick, cue the dancers. In at number three, Beyonce. Yep, you heard me right. Even Beyonce has been caught lip syncing and it was on a massive stage. During her performance of the national anthem at Barack Obama's second presidential inauguration, she does an okay job mouthing along to the words, but at one point you can tell that she's getting kind of frustrated by even doing this. At one point you can see that she rips out the earpiece feeding her the lyrics and just goes off book for the rest of the song. Following this, she received a ton of hate from her critics and later on had to address this by performing the same song, but this time a cappella. Because I guess that's the only way that she can prove it. Following that, she was asked by an interviewer to explain what happened and here's what she had to say. And I wanted to make him and my country proud. So I decided to sing along with my pre recorded track, which is very common in the music industry. In at number two, Ashley Simpson. That video of Ashley Simpson on Saturday Night Live just flubbing so hard like that just gives me secondhand embarrassment to this day. Every time I watch the video. In the video, you can see all of this confusion happening when she realizes that the track starts playing before she has the microphone up to her face, so she just awkwardly dances instead? Maybe that's truly where the Fortnite Take the L dance came from. At that point, you can't even really salvage the performance. It's called Saturday Night Live for a reason. So she just did her little dance like this, little, little jig, said she was sorry, blamed it on her band for playing the wrong song, and then it was all quick cut to commercial from there. And during an interview several years later, she was asked about this, and here's what Ashley had to say. Um, what happened there was I had a vocal problem. I had two nodes beating against each other, and I woke up and I had no voice. And then I should have said, no, I will not go on, I will not do this. Last but not least in her number one spot, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey can definitely sing, there's no question about that. However, this does not make her immune from copping out and lip syncing from time to time. Right off the top from one of her New Year's Eve performances, you can tell that she's lip syncing, but when the music transitions and she comes down to the main stage, the sound tech plays the wrong song. I don't know if this was just an error or if someone was really trying to expose Mariah like that, but damn. My favorite part comes later on after she tells the crowd that they picked the wrong song. As she's talking, like mid-sentence, it just gets worse and worse. You can hear her trace Trademark whistling note in the background while she's talking. Like, Mariah, why? Why would you do that? But the only reason why I had to include her in this list is because she made $3.5 million to lip sync on New Year's Eve. And I guess you could say more than one ball was dropped that night. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Careers That Were Ruined by Social Media Part 2. Gen X says, is that a YOLO tattoo? Super cringe, that's going to age badly, my dude. Well, considering I've had this tattoo already for nine years, I'd say it's aged quite well. Sharp2257 says, I hope Johnny becomes just like Onision in every way. What the f is that supposed to mean? Next comment. Emerito says, I was starting to like this guy until I saw the YOLO tattoo. That's fine. I only want fans that like me for who I am. And if you're a fan of mine, then you obviously love Oreos. Anika McDonald says, you have a YOLO tattoo? I do, I do. It stands for you obviously lack originality. Amy says, dude, I'm just shaking my head at these idiots. Bacon Overlord is so much fun to watch. He has so much energy and enthusiasm. Rock on, Bacon Boy. <laughs> Rock on Bacon Boy sounds like a line from a Will Ferrell movie, and I love it. I love this comment, and I appreciate the kind words, and uh, I hope you get to see your feature. And that has been the top 10 musicians caught lip syncing during live performances. Thank you for watching Inform Overload, and if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram for tons of behind the scenes content. Links for that will be in the description below. And while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this list. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it comes up on your screen. From IO, my name is Johnny Rogers. Until next time, stay lippy. From my own, my name is Johnny Rogers. Until next time, well, what's my sign off? What the is that? Is that your Shakira impression? Yeah, that's my Shakira. Akira, Akira. <laughs> there it is. Scrolling.